Hello everyone, this is Manuele and today I want to show you how to implement the rigid body based controller in the TPS demo in Godot 4. So this is the TPS demo you can find online for Godot 4 and this is a rigid body and the character right now is entirely blocked by this rigid body. You can change it so that the character uh, pushes the rigid body but then it won't be affected by it. What I want to do is uh, to convert the character controller to a rigid body based controller so that both uh, uh, the rigid body being hit and the character will be affected by the collision. Uh, we will start with a feed class and uh, then we can uh, start operate on the player scene. So the first thing is I will of course change this to be a rigid body and I will lock all the angular axes. Then I will change the uh, base class to be rigid body. And I will add the ray cast 3D. Um, I will move it uh, slightly above uh, the, the floor and I will make it quite short. I will check uh, all the relevant layers. This will be used to check if the character is on the floor. And the first thing I will do is implement the is on floor method, which is not available anymore in the base class. And I will just try to make cast 3D is colliding. Next, I want to change the champ logic because now we are using a rigid body, we can just apply an impulse. So we we'll use this formula. On A it will just be not on floor. I want to change the mass to something larger, like uh, 100 kilograms. Now we can declare our target velocity, and here we can delete all the logic for the character body and add our rigid body controller logic. Uh, so the first thing we will do is compute a velocity error. We want to make sure that, that there is no Y component because we don't want to uh, control um, vertical uh, velocity. And now we can update the feed with the um, error velocity and uh, delta and this will give us the correction impulse which we can then just apply so if everything is correct this will already give us something working so let's test it so as you can see the car is moving the character is pushing the body and it's colliding. And we can also jump. Now what I want to do is, uh, I want the animation to slow down when we hit something uh, and to reflect the actual velocity of the character. To do that, the first thing I'm gonna do is add another node to the animation tree. And this will be a timescale node, which I will call locomotion timescale and I will connect it between this transition node and the one-shot node. I will copy the path of the property I just created. And now what I want to do is, I want to get the value of the property and I want the um, orientation, this variable orientation, which actually keeps also the translation. I want to uh, make sure that um, the translation is normalized by this um, locomotion time scale uh, so that uh, we have the root motion not affected by this variable. Next, I will check that the velocity of the root motion is not zero. We'll compute. Um, the root motion velocity 
which is given by the origin, so the delta divided by the time delta. If the root motion velocity is basically zero, then all I do is I set the local motion time scale to one. Else I compute the local motion time scale like um, the ratio between the the horizontal velocity and the um, root motion velocity because we want to change the root motion velocity to match the uh, actual linear velocity. So we compute the horizontal velocity, the actual horizontal velocity, and we compute a ratio between the length of this one and the root motion velocity. We also want this to be in some range between a small value which is never zero and a high value which is limited. And now we can apply back the locomotion time scale. Something else we want to do is to not apply the impulse unless we are on the floor. And now we can test it. And as you can see, it works. The animation slows down when we hit the box and the cart slows down as well. However, this is not very realistic. If we slow down the animation too much, in an actual uh, game, we want to swap the animation if that happens. And that's it. So then like and subscribe if you like the content, uh, dislike it if you dislike it, and see you next time.